So, this video is for Sony Vegas Pro 9. Now, um, I often see videos where like the audio is like really low and you can hardly hear it. It used to be a problem in my videos. And what's for a while? Until I decided to get Audacity. That's a free open source audio editing software. In this video we're gonna learn on how to integrate it with Sony Vegas Pro 9 to edit your audio. First of all you'll need Audacity installed. And then what we're gonna do is go to Options and Preferences. You'll need to go to the Audio tab and here you'll see Preferred Audio Editor. So you'll just need to click on Browse. Go to computer or wherever, local disk, program files, and you'll need to find Audacity. Open the folder, select the exe, which is audacity.exe, and open. From there what you can do is just click on apply, and OK. And here in the timeline, this is a video that I did a while back, you'll see that it's kind of low, the audio. So what we'll need to do, you'll need to right click and open copy and audio editor. Now what we need to do here is select the track, go to effect, amplify, then just move this slider along. You might want to just do it on gut feeling. If OK is grayed out, just click on Allow Clipping. Then OK. You can preview it. Click on OK. And then that will just amplify a little bit. Now with the track selected again, go to Effect and bass boost. It'll uh, boost the bass of the audio track. And that should be okay. So what we do here is we go to file, then export as mp3. You need to make sure that you have the right codec installed the right DLL to save it as MP3, otherwise you'll be able to only save it as WAV. So save it. Just ignore this, just click OK. You're probably asking yourself, you know, why I'm not doing a tutorial using just a, you know, volume slider at the side of the audio track in Sony Vegas. The fact is, sometimes that isn't enough. I mean, you can, like, try and duplicate the track and, like, move the volume slider or something, boost it and whatnot. Sometimes you sound like you got a vocoder, and sometimes you sound like you're the bog out of Star Trek. If you don't watch Star Trek, then you have no clue what I'm talking about. The bottom line is, using the volume slider in Sony Vegas is the newbiest thing to do. Wait, is newbiest even a word? Oh, what the hell. So now that's done, what we're going to do is close Audacity. Don't save it unless you want to. Now we're going to go back to Sony Vegas, go to File, Import, Media. And we'll go to wherever we save the audio track. So it'll instantly go into the Project Media window. So we need to click and drag and drop in. So after this what you need to do is click on your video, hold down control on your keyboard and click on the original audio. Then press U to ungroup them. And once done with that you can just move this about and delete it. Click on your edited audio and then drag it back up to the track. Delete the empty space. Hold control down and the video 
and then press G and that will group it back so you can move the video with the audio at the same time. Hope that's helped and uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.